In letter 12 of the Screwtape Letters, C.S. Lewis offers readers a nuanced exploration of the subtleties of spiritual degradation and the insidious nature of temptation. Through the correspondence between Screwtape, a senior demon, and his nephew Wormwood, Lewis delves into the depths of human psyche and moral vulnerability in a way that is both engaging and deeply insightful. In this particular letter, Screwtape commends Wormwood for his progress, but advises caution, illustrating the importance of subtlety in leading a soul away from God, referred to as the enemy. Screwtape's primary concern is that the patient, by which he means the human subject of Wormwood's temptations, must remain oblivious to the fact that he is gradually moving away from God. Screwtape emphasizes that, although the patient considers his past decisions trivial and revocable, these seemingly small choices are cumulatively leading him down a path towards hell. This underscores a central theme in Lewis's narrative, the dangerous power of small, seemingly insignificant sins that go unnoticed. Interestingly, Screwtape notes that the patient's continued church attendance could actually work in their favor. This paradoxical situation is laden with irony. Rather than leading the patient towards salvation, routine churchgoing, when performed without genuine faith or consideration, can foster a complacent and unexamined spirituality. Screwtape suggests that as long as the patient remains superficially religious, he will not confront the deeper discontent and spiritual inadequacy simmering beneath the surface. This approach prevents the patient from seeking a true relationship with God, as acknowledging his flaws or sins would make him uncomfortable. Lewis cleverly critiques superficial religious practices, suggesting that true faith requires a conscious and active engagement with one's spirituality. As Screwtape elaborates, the patient's prayers have become hollow and meaningless, serving as a tool for avoidance rather than communion with God. This is a significant character development, as the patient's spiritual authenticity is eroded. Where Wormwood once had to actively obstruct the patient's prayers, the patient himself now desires that his prayers be empty and devoid of true connection. This shift represents a critical victory for the demonic forces. The patient's own actions, or lack thereof, are complicit in his spiritual decay. Screwtape's mention of distraction as a tool of temptation serves as a pertinent reminder of how easily one can be led astray by the mundane concerns and pursuits of daily life. Anything that can divert the patient's attention from God is useful. This could be intellectual pursuits, social engagements, or mere trivialities, all possessing the potential to drive a wedge between the patient and spiritual fulfillment. Here, Lewis illuminates a profound truth about the human condition. Distractions, when left unchecked, can erode our higher aspirations and moral clarity. Toward the end of the letter, Screwtape delivers a powerful axiom, the safest road to hell is the gradual one. This thought encapsulates the letter's core message and serves as a stark warning. Lewis deftly underscores that dramatic, overtly evil actions are not the only way to sever one's relationship with God. Instead, it is the slow, almost imperceptible decline resulting from minor compromises and neglected truths that can ultimately lead to one's downfall. In summary, Letter 12 of the Screwtape Letters presents a rich narrative of themes and character developments, woven together to highlight the peril of spiritual complacency and the deceptive power of seemingly insignificant sins. C.S. Lewis masterfully illustrates that often, it is not the glaring moral failures, but the accumulation of small, unexamined wrongs that steer a soul away from righteousness. Through Screwtape's insights, readers are invited to reflect on their own spiritual journeys, recognizing that true faith requires constant awareness, genuine introspection, and the active pursuit of a meaningful relationship with the divine. If this video was helpful, please smash the like button and tell me what you would like to see in our next bookly video in the comment section below. This has been another bookly crash course.